Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be going over the Dolphins game. Before we get started, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. This is this is a terrible loss um, for the Dolphins. I mean, it's just it's just unbelievable, really. Um, you know, the Packers end up winning 26-20, good for them. Uh, you know, they win, you know, they were four and eight. Now this is their third straight win. They're at seven and eight now sitting in that playoff picture um, and, and really trying to make a run for it. You know, they got a ton of good results um, at the end of the day uh, yesterday with, with the Lions losing, Seahawks losing, uh, Commanders losing. Um, so they're going to be in the mix there for the playoffs. And the Dolphins, they'll, they'll still, you know, they're, they're, they still have the potential to make the playoffs. But this was just such a huge loss. Like this is a, this is a game that the Dolphins almost like needed to win, it felt like. Um, and it felt like that they should have won. Um, you know, Tua and, and the offense was playing really well in the first half. Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle with the massive 84-yard touchdown. It was looking explosive. They had the run game going. Um, and then, you know, at the end of the day, I really think it comes down to the Raheem Mostert fumble um, to end the first half. The Dolphins are driving. It's 20-10. to 10. Um, Packers get the ball back to start the second half. And, um, you know, it looks like the Dolphins are going to get a field goal, right? Raheem Mostert fumbles the ball. Packers go down, score a field goal. It's 20 to 13. Then they get a touchdown to tie the game up on the first possession of the second half. Um, and then, you know, the defense, the Packers defense was fantastic, um, really. But it comes back to the Dolphins offense. I really, I mean, you know, Tua Tungabailoa, really, really good in that first half. And then started forcing footballs into, into places. Didn't see coverages and just was really unlike himself um, at the end of the day. And I thought he had such a good first half. And I was really excited to see him build on that in the second half. But it just wasn't there. This is a really disappointing loss, a really disappointing result. And even when the defense, you know, got got the stop in, in at the end of the game right there to force a field goal, 26 to 20, Dolphins got the got the football back. And there was a sense where it's like, maybe they can do this. You know, they don't have any timeouts. They still have two minutes on the clock. Two has been really good all year. Um, and the D Dolphins offense is so explosive. But he throws a pick to, to, to Russell D Douglas at the end um, to, to ice the game. And, you know, that's just, it's just shocking um, for, for this Dolphins team. Um, I thought, uh, you know, Tyree Kill, they could have got the ball to him a little bit more. Jalen Waddle played well, but defensively, I thought this team did enough. Um, they stayed in the game. Um, they, 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 they gave the offensive shot, but at the end of the day, when you turn the ball over that much, um, it's really hard to win football games. And especially, um, this one where you needed to keep possession of the football. Um, maybe I would have liked them to have a little bit more success running the football in the second half. The Dolphins really didn't have that. Um, you know, it's just, it's just such a mind boggling result. They, they got stopped defensively and they gave the offense a chance, but when you turn over the football three times in the second half, you're not going to win many football games. And this was one of those. And then for the Packers, good win for them. Um, they needed this one to stay in the playoff hunt, stay in that playoff picture. Um, they're, I think just out of the playoff picture right now, the Washington commanders are still in it. Um, cause they're seven, seven and one compared to seven and eight. But nonetheless, uh, if the commanders lose a game, Packers went out. Packers could 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 make a run for it, um, and I thought Aaron Rodgers, after a, a, a shaky first half, really played well in the second half without Christian Watson. Romeo Dobbs had a really nice game. Aaron Jones um, got the offense kickstarted a little bit in the second half, but more importantly, defensively, the secondary did such a good job. Jair Alexander with an interception, um, Russell Douglas with an interception to ice the game, Devondre Campbell with an interception at the linebacker spot. They just did a really good job confusing Tua um, and really making him force throws that weren't really there. So at the end of the day, tough one for the Dolphins. They still have a chance to make the playoffs, even though they're eight and seven right now. Um, four straight losses for them. Um, they'll play the uh, the Patriots next week um, in what will end up probably being a, a must-win game. I mean, it's not really a must-win game. There's still a ways for them to get in the playoffs with one win if they beat the Jets the final week of the season. But nonetheless, it's just, you know, classic Dolphins, December football, need wins, um, control your own destiny. You can't get it done. Um, I've seen it too many times before, and hopefully the Dolphins can still find a way into the playoffs. But uh, it looks like they'll be playing the Bills or the Chiefs either way. That said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.